Greetings everyone, the Goods of Night here, and today we're going to be talking about the 4D Tactical Zero-G Deluxe Retrofit Kit. You can see from the picture here, we got all of our fun little helmets. we got the uh, Cry Airframe down here, we got a picture of a pad, a brief description of what all goes into it, and made in the US of A. Beautiful. So, with all that in mind, it's really important, so I've been going through helmet pads for a long time. If you're going to really understand what makes these unique and important, and after the bit of testing I put them through, you first got to understand where helmet padding has come from. The big thing was Zorbium. Zorbium is this high-impact, squishy little uh, foam, basically. Styrofoam-ish foam thing they got together. Double foam. It's really, really good at impact dispersion and keeping your head safe. The big clank. The side of the head, replace the uh, little suspension two-point chin strap sort of setup. It was a big deal. Really helpful. And um, yeah, definitely a lifesaver. Downsides being, it got hot. It got really hot, really fast, and it wasn't the most comfortable to have rubbing against your dome all the time, so what you ended up having is a bunch of other people went a bunch of other directions. Opscore particularly went in the direction of the uh, high-density um, helmet styrofoam with a little bit of pads over that. A little bit of pad give you a little squishy closed cell thing that they also use in the VTAX padded sling. It was pretty cool. It gave you a nice little comfort area, but still, it was really, really stiff and didn't give it a lot of give. And it caused a good deal of people discomfort. Some people still swear by it. And I mean, Opscore is still around and doing very well, so it wasn't a terrible idea. And that was one option. The other one that immediately replaced the Zorbium for sort of a more Mitch, old-school helmet setup was the uh, Oregon Arrow. Oregon Arrow came up with the very, very squishy pads. Problem is, there's no Zorbium, so how effective are they are in the actual safety impact resistant portion? Probably not as good, but definitely comfortable for extended wear. However, being as squishy as they were and unporphyrated, they also had a tendency to collect heat and get really, really hot, which is a problem in hotter environments with high humidity like Okinawa. So we're continuing. We have a few. We've gone through a few now. After that, you had the um, I don't even know Protec, the little foam stuff. It wasn't bad. It was okay, but what was one of the big things was actually with Team Windy. Team Windy had the Zorbium base, and then they made these pads you put on the inside for the actual comfort part, and that'd go from about three and a half altogether to a whole inch of support going on. It wasn't a bad idea. It's pretty cool. So. That worked out pretty well, but ultimately, for some items, it doesn't work out as well as it does for others. I had trouble with the pads only having Velcro in one little area, and it would flop over and cause discomfort. It was a pain to try to set up to get right all the time, and it definitely went in a uh, volume sort of setup. Didn't really care for it. So, I was running the standard pads in my airframe until I talked to my uh, good buddy, uh, Mythic. He's somewhere on that side page if you ever want to check out his channel, he makes good stuff. He actually told me about these new pads that might be able to solve the issue, one of the big things. So if you look here, I actually got one of the pads here in my pocket. This is, they come in the uh, one inch variant, which is this thicker one, and then the slightly thinner one that is the three quarter inch, which is more of your standard. Now this was a big deal because the airframe I have is a medium, and the airframe is known to run in a very claustrophobic sizing setup. So. With that in mind, we got our pad here, which you'll immediately notice is it's got these little ventilation porphyration parts and this uh, thermo reducing pad stuff. This is a description on it. I have all the official terminology. I just have a heat and moisture wicking antimicrobial thermal regulating fabric layer, which is basically a fancy way to say it's a layer that's going to help regulate heat, dissipate sweat, and keep you from getting hot spots all over your head. As you can see, this is pretty comfortable, and I can actually squish that down on my head, and it's comfy. And it kind of just feels like it turns a big uh, foam thing. One of the other big things that they really improved upon, that I particularly liked, is instead of just having like a um, flattened out seam around the outside of the pad, they actually cover the pad up and give it a good stitching job there. They give it a very, very tough closure area on this side here, which gives you a lot of things. And the thing I particularly like, is I can actually slide this on, it's fine. They basically took the um, non-collapsing high-density stuff they put on the back, they put a medium foam in the center, and a very light, squishy, sort of memory foam feeling thing on the outside, on the very 
inside, which is the part that's going to be closest to your head. And that makes this incredibly comfortable. First, it's dissipating heat, and it's comfortable, and even with the way they show it here, we've got everything stacked together, the fact that the pads have some breathability to them adds a lot to making this comfy, so... I didn't use all the pads, as you can see. It's nice to have all eight of the side pads instead of just the standard four they come with. Because you're a bit, more, uh, a bit more bang for your buck. It's not terrible. But yeah, as you can see, so the red pad there, if you look there, that's going to be a really squishy pad. Blue pad's medium, and that greenish yellow pad at the very bottom. That's the thing that's going to be the high impact absorption and your comfort. So they combine the two very, very well. Kind of like what um, Team Wendy was going for, but reduced to a single pad instead of two separate layers, which reduces the complexity. You can't modify it as much. But what it does, it does very well. And that's going to slide on every time. It's not going to catch up and get all, all weird and janky on you. So that's pretty cool. So let's actually pick up the helmet here. And we have our sexy, sexy cry airframe in Ranger, well, in Coyote Brown, technically, with Ranger Green cover. We have Pop Open on our uh, Peltor 3s, Comptec Peltor 3. The way I've got this set up is actually with a lot more minimalistic here. I went with the uh, thinner three quarter inch pads on the side because like I said, it's a claustrophobic headspace in a medium. You've got this wide comfort pad up on the front for the brow, and then you've got this decent hexagonal pad for the back. Put all that in there, and I put just one pad on each, not a lot, and then... So I two the two, the two thick pads that I'm not using are both up here on the crown of the head to give it the best support from anything coming on above and atop. The nasty stuff. And then the sides are nicely padded all throughout with your uh, three-quarter inch. So the three-quarter inch gives us a lot more give, which sufficiently, I mean sufficiently, just drastically improves the overall comfort of this helmet. With the earlier pads, not only were they causing hot spots, but the inability to really work with the uh, sizing, everything was three-quarter and a very stiff material, made the helmet much, much more difficult to wear. And with the cleared out space, we're going to also be optimizing our overall ventilation of the airframe, because, you know, that's kind of the whole point outside of a lower weight and blast reduction. Makes it much more comfortable and much, much more cooler. Much cooler. There's no need for more than that. English abnormality. So we're going to take our boy here. We're going to go ahead and slot him on our head. Squishes down pretty nicely. You can get a bit more squish if you really need to, but yeah, that's all really comfortable. Close our chin strap here. Our cam fit from Team Wendy. The cam fit does fantastic work. It's just their epic padding that I just wasn't too, in thr wasn't too thrilled with, and boom. We're all set. We're ready to go operate. There's no pads that need to be readjusted. Everything is nice and comfy. There's a good deal of breathability. My head's not going to get super hot and sweaty. Now, I've worn this a good deal, and I may or may not have taken a 30-minute nap while wearing this helmet. It is comfortable. I was already laying on the ground. And the helmet is basically a super comfy pillow. We're really turning our helmet into the feel of less of a helmet and more of a baseball cap. It's pretty comfy. It helps a lot with the weight reduction. Well, the felt weight overall of the helmet. It being a lighter helmet to begin with definitely helps. But yeah, we've got all this really cool nifty stuff going on. We've got way more breathability. We're not going to have to really worry about the heat. I will have to actually test this outside in a course longer than 10 minutes. Actually get out there, run around to do some jumping jacks and actually see how much sweat we're going to get into these things and how much cooler they're going to be compared to what we were running previously. But I'm excited. I'm excited because we, after years of searching from the standard Zorbium to well, even the cry pads, the cry pads are pretty good, but they're still just Zorbium, they're pretty basic. Aftermarket pads are kind of a huge boon for cry. Not too many things I change about the airframe, but aftermarket pads that make it more comfy and a cam fit to really keep that waddle and wobble out of the way. Huge! So now we have an incredibly comfy, super Gucci helmet. And I'm actually kind of surprised these came in because everything I was looking at said we were looking at like six months of back order. So when it came in, pretty exciting. And we've got a very, very comfy helmet going on here. So there's those things to keep in mind. 
it's not gathering all the heat like it usually does. Okinawa is hot consistently, and even in this room with the fans off so the speakers don't pick them up. It's a little spicy. It's just a tad. A wee bit spicy. But even so, the helmet is not getting spicy. This shirt is probably hotter than these pads right now, so... Good thing to know. And yeah, so... These pads are absolutely fantastic. So if you're looking at a way to make your helmet super comfortable, and you weren't terribly impressed with what Team Windy had to offer, because Team Windy was basically leading it with how it was going with both the Camfit and the Epic Air. Thing is, the Epic Air... I like the simplicity of just bopping the helmet on my head. It's probably the uh, more, what's the word I'm looking for? Claustrophobic nature of the helmet that made the pads catch a lot more because it's two layers rolling up and... You get the idea. It wasn't comfortable. It's like... Oh, it's a good, it's a good example. Try, um, try putting your shoes on. Stick with me here. Try putting your shoes on, but have the tongues folded inwards and up on top of your foot. It's not going to be terribly comfortable no matter how comfy those shoes can be. And that's kind of the best way to explain what was going on with the Team Wendy Pads from Museum. Could I have modified them? Yes, I could have added more Velcro to the back with a lot of effort and a few man hours. We could have made it work. But being able to get a very simple, just drop in and get everything running nice and comfy and cozy, it's a huge plus. There's really not enough nice things I could say about these, especially with the heat reduction, because Okinawa is way too hot. I'm way too hot, both physically and metaphorically. I don't know, something with the metabolism is out of control, something's out of whack, but it's too, it's too damn hot. It's just the moral of the story, it's too damn hot. And anything and everything, ventilation, that can help reduce that is just it's mission critical. If you're dying of dehydration, then you're not really accomplishing the mission, now are you? So, pop this off real quick and we take a look on the inside. You can see the pads basically turn to shape immediately and they're all nice, comfy, and squishy. You can't really feel the pads over the internet, because that would that would be something. But since you can't, I can assure you they're super squishy. And I can also tell you I'm not being paid to say any of this at all. I know. It's just a fantastic product, and I want you guys to know that this fantastic prostic ah, fantastic product even exists because had my good buddy not told me about this, I would still be wearing the stock pads and I would still be wearing a super Gucci helmet that look, looks fantastic and works amazing on the outside but deep down on the inside there's several hot spots on my head and I'm not as comfortable as I could be and comfort is a commodity seldom afforded in the heat of battle or the heat of training which is where most of it goes, let's be honest actually more training than anything else but you know, get comfy don't die of dehydration. L less water you have to drink is less water you have to bring. So, stay cool from your guy, the good Sir Knight, who's a cool dude, telling you to stay cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's all there really is to it as far as making your helmet as comfortable as possible. Pads are unparalleled. I like, I mean, if you like Opscore, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with Opscore, there's nothing wrong with Team Wendy. I know what they did politically, don't worry about it. It was with good intentions, I swear. Or so I'm told. Team Wendy's cool. Team Wendy's cool in my book. It's a guy who's lost his daughter. I can understand that. He wants to make fantastic helmets. He does make fantastic helmets. All the camp fit. It's probably the greatest invention for helmets of all time. So yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of things out there. Organ Arrow, outdated. The standard Zorbium, although effective, a cheap solution to your problems, but a lot of the things, even the Oregon Arrow, you're looking at about $50 and you can get this for roughly $115, $120, depending on how the shifting go shipping goes. But if you can get all of these, you can... Okay, let's, let's say it's, it's what it is. It's silkies for your head. It's like, uh, silkies are comfy. This is comfy. It's as comfy as silkies in a helmet. That That's, that's really... Bottom line up front. Comfy silkies in a helmet. That's really all I have to say. I'm dragging this video out way longer than it needs to be. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. These things are fantastic. And uh, yeah, stay Gucci, everyone. And you will shiver us too, but mostly Gucci. You can shoot like a potato, but you better look good doing it. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day.